is this little camera. You can print a picture. <laughs> channel my name is Nicole if you're new here and here on We Mama I do lots of motherhood lifestyle cleaning and organizational videos so if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing today's video is going to be a kids favorite I have just recently done a favorites video and I had lots of things in there that I wanted to mention um, but then I realized that they were for more for the kids and I obviously didn't want to make the other video too long so I thought I would make a separate video of everything that I've been loving for the kids recently I have just put my little girl down for a nap and my little boy is in the garden so I'm hoping that I can quickly film this before my son realises that he needs me and they wake up. So I'm going to try and whiz through this as fast as I can. First thing that I want to mention are these water bottles by Clean Canteen. I bought these just for Christmas for my two little ones and they are amazing. I actually have a few other bottles like metal bottles from different brands and they are battered and dented uh, to the point where I think I'm gonna have to throw them away soon because they are, they just look horrendous. Uh, whereas these, I've had these for longer and yet they are so durable. I picked these ones up from TK Maxx for 7 dollars um, and I haven't been able to find any more since, so I'm definitely gonna go and have a little look on the website for some more of these. I've picked up these two and I definitely want some more just for nursery, uh, for my two little ones to leave at nursery. I want some for the car so that when we're out and about, instead of taking the ones from home, I can just get the ones from the car and fill them up whenever we're out. I've swapped the lids over on these two bottles. So this is the one that came with that lid. Um, but I thought that this lid, sorry, I haven't had a chance to wash it. So it's a little bit, a little bit gross, got breakfast all over it. But yeah, this one, um, if, as you can see, you can just like suck the water out and that's the candle so I thought that one might be better for my little girl because she is only one uh, but it turns out that she actually does prefer this uh, bottle so this one you obviously just like pull the cap up and have a drink um but yeah I really like that that you can like use different caps on them and I have obviously seen like the adult versions as well yeah, definitely gonna be picking up some more of those they are a firm favorite at the minute another favorite is this little contraption. This is essentially a urinal. I really shouldn't hold it that close to my face. Um, yeah, so I think it's supposed to be an elephant and basically it works by your little boy putting his bits in there and doing a wee and it all flows down into here. There's like a little funnel in the middle and it works by having a wee in there and then to stop the wee coming back out you press this down this little bit on the spring and it's got a sucker like a plunger at the end so you push that down and then twist it and then it locks so the wee doesn't travel back up and this is obviously it's so portable it doesn't leak one of the best toilet training things that i have picked up we go out quite often on our days out like for family days out uh, and to be honest i haven't actually had to use this with dids in quite a while now he has been toilet trained for like a year now so he is pretty good but um i would say about like six months ago we still quite like needed it and used it quite frequently and um, i mainly bought it for a festival because i knew that when we were at a festival instead of just having to like leave the show and go to the uh find a portable toilet i could just like take him to the side and have a little wee and uh, it's just so easy to chuck at the bottom of the pram and keep in the car highly recommend these things they also do a girl version but instead of getting like a hole it's like teardrop shaped so that it's easier for like a little girl to use i wish i'd seen that first and then i would have picked that up instead because then i could use that with my daughter nina I highly recommend these next up is a really fun one is a little sweet shop it's 
looked so cute. I definitely had one of these when I was a kid. Uh, we picked this up for Did's birthday from Home Bargains. I think it was maybe about 10 quid and it has been so well used. Yeah, I, I definitely had one when I was a kid uh, and basically it's got little compartments for you to put sweets in, like a little drawer. I think that's supposed to be a till because it did come with some like plastic money. But, um, it's got little holes in here so you can stand lollipops in. It comes with a little scoop and these little like plastic jars. And this has been so cute for our little like movie nights. Every now and then uh, as a family we all sit down and have a movie night and we watch a Disney film with our little boy and it's just been like really cute for him to go and get we put like a big bowl of popcorn and we get him to get his little bowl and scoop some popcorn into his bowl and then we get some little like pick and mix sweets and so my two little ones can like scoop up their sweets and add them to their own little bag. I bought some of these little like organza bags from like our like home bargains or maybe the range and I just get the kids to like scoop up the sweets and like put them in there and it's just made our movie night like a little bit more real a little bit more cuter and fun so the kids have been loving that and they, they always scream for the sweet shop whenever we mention movie now they're like sweet shop it's too cute another favorite i wanted to share this is almost a bit like a hack i guess i pick up these craft card and envelopes whenever i see them you can get them in home bargains the range amazon and basically they are just like plain envelopes, plain cards. And I have been doing this since my little boy was a baby and I just get my kids to make their own cards to send to relatives. So like thank you notes, Christmas cards, Valentine's birthday, all the occasions. And yeah, it's just, it's a little bit more personal for, you know, your loved ones to receive like a handmade card. And sometimes even when I don't have the time, at Christmas we go wild, you know, we get all the glitter out and things like that. But even if I don't have like the time to sit there and be cleaning up all of that, I get the kids little watercolor palettes for like 1.99 from Home Bargains. And they just look so pretty. I get the kids to like do their very own like little watercolor and their own little picture using the watercolors. And they are so effective. They are so pretty, minimal mess. And yeah, um, it's really cute. I also went as far as getting like a stamping pad and like stamping my kids' handprints on there. That is very cute, but they do run out very quickly. And so I haven't been able to do that in a while. But um, yeah, I I love these. So I just reminded myself that these were like a favorite because Mother's Day was coming up. And I had to do one for my mum. Uh, my stepmum, uh, my little boy's grandmother in France, my mother-in-law. So yeah, uh, I just remembered like this is just such a nice idea. And these can be like very cheap. So sometimes cheaper than an actual card. Another type of hack, I would say, rather than a favorite, that I am loving these hooks at the minute. My, my mum bought these and she accidentally left them down our house. So I have obviously stolen them. And I have just been hooking these on the back the kids doors for their pajamas and um, sometimes we leave their pajamas on the floor bed bathroom floor and I just wanted a place to keep them without having clothes all over the place so I've just been putting these on the back of the door I know it sounds well yeah it's a, that's what you do with clothes but that's not the case in our house we leave clothes everywhere I've been loving these hooks and you know if, if my little boys worn some jeans and they were clean you know he could wear them the next day instead of like like previously i've just been like chucking them over a banister or they were like left on the landing because i was that like, exhausted and didn't pick them up but now i've just gotten into the habit of just picking them up and putting them on his little door hook and then i can go in the next morning and be like before i head to his wardrobe i can be like what's on that amazing who knew that you could use this to hang clothes on <laughs> next up uh, i have been loving these name labels i have been using these uh, ever since my little boy was around six months old when he first went to nursery uh, and of course now I've bought some for Nina now that Nina is going to nursery and they are so cute I get them off of Etsy and you can just design them yourself there are so many different people on there but I really like these little yellow ones I know like, they're quite distinctive for me because I always use this pattern let's choose a dinosaur you can like customize it with like handwriting and colors and then uh, yeah so I've got one for my little boy and then one for my little girl as well and these are great they stick to everything i even put them on clothes it does say in the little packet and uh, they're like they're not designed for clothing um and they do recommend the iron-on ones but these are self-adhesive 
vinyl labels. I feel like they do stick to clothes, even after a wash. I've got some on their nursery bags so that when the girls are like looking for the kids' bags um, on, on the pegs and things, they can see their name. I also put them on the kids' bottles as so we don't lose those at nursery. And yeah, I feel like it's quite difficult to get them off, so very happy with these. Next step, a little favorite for my kids is this little camera. My little boy got this for his birthday off my dad and my stepmom and he has loved taking it out and about on our daily adventures, like our family days out. It's like a fully working camera and you can like turn it on. So it's obviously a camera, you can take videos on it. Um, you can play games and you can watch back your videos. I think it's got like a, a editing studio so you can have like frames for your images so the kids can take like a birthday like balloon frame for someone's birthday for example uh, and yeah it comes with its own little like memory card. Dits has loved taking this around with him um, on our days out and I really want to get a little scrapbook so that we can print pictures so that we can take pictures and uh, yeah print them off and then add them to his little like scrapbook of what we've been up to like our adventures and things so yeah very cute little camera another favorite um we've had these for a long time but every time i look at them i fall in love with them very simple little things i think i bought these off of etsy and it's just like a laser cut bit of mdf with my little girl's name on it i did have one for my little boy and i broke it trying to get it off the door you'll have to get a new one of those um but yeah we are moving house soon so i have started to like slowly put things away and stuff like that and uh, I've obviously been thinking about my kids rooms and I just wanted to mention these because obviously we will be putting these back on the kids doors this is my little girl's name Nina and yeah I got one for my little boy it was so cheap I'm pretty sure it was Etsy but it could have been eBay but yeah I was really looking for something pretty just to add to their doors and yeah I put Nina's in like a little flower arrangement on her door and Didier's had like a little pine cone decoration hanging off it that I added to it but yeah I thought this was like a really pretty like way of like naming their bedrooms and my little boy is called Didier so I didn't think I would really find uh, a Didier in a shop in Britain probably will if I go to France but yeah I thought I would definitely have to find something custom for my little boy and the last thing that I wanted to show as a favorite is this little contraption. I'm putting it on screen because I have no idea where I have put them. I have three of these things. They are called a Calpol vape plug. I have one for Didier, one for Nina, and one for myself and my husband. And as I just mentioned, it is a vape plug. You, get the, you can buy these little packets with the, the vapor, like little cardboard thing, like the refills, and you push it into the slot of this vapor plug and it's got a big annoying nightlight on it so i don't like that part but um, when you plug it into the wall it basically like heats up or like lets the air it basically like pushes air out of the vent uh so that the vapors from the like the vix comes out and fills up the room so when you shut all the doors at night uh, and fall asleep you with the cold you have basically got a room filled with vix and it is so good for like clearing your senses your sinuses getting rid of chesty coughs i highly highly recommend these uh whenever i've made like a baby basket for like a friend who's like about to have a baby i always add in one of these they are worth their weight in gold and I, I would honestly recommend them for like us as well not just for babies and kids they work wonders uh, and i have three and i cannot find any of them <laughs> i usually keep them in my first aid kit and they've all gone walk about so you can get them really cheap in home bargains that place is my pride and joy uh, and then these are a little bit more expensive the refills you can get these little sachets and there's about five of them and these are the things that are expensive again i try to get these from home bargains because they are around 4.99 but in like supermarkets they can come up to about 7.99 so very expensive and that is everything i wanted to show you for my kids favorites if you did like this video i'd really appreciate a big thumbs up if you did like it and please consider subscribing i love making videos like this i will see you in the next one bye